Hello everybody, once again, this is uh, Dave here again, and uh, I thought I'd do a quick review on this project that I picked up from off of Storm Drain's blog. I've been going to his website for quite some time now, and he's got some really cool uh, stuff he's done there. His knot tying skills admittedly are <clears throat> superior to mine. But I get some pretty good ideas, and he does some really cool projects. The guy's really creative, and um, he had a project on there that he was calling Woven and Half-Hitched Paracord Pouches. And he had some pictures that described how he, he did his um, pouch, but there weren't a lot of pictures, and the instructions were difficult to follow and I'm on the road so I wasn't able to print them off and I just had time to glance at them and then I did this pouch later in the day when I was away from my computer but had access to paracord and my tools so um, I made this as a uh, neck a lot, pouch I call it my swear pouch I'm making an effort to stop swearing so every time I uh, let off a, <laughs> a nice curse word. I open up the little pouch and then I uh, put a quarter in there and as you can see I <laughs> that's just from <laughs> three days worth of uh, cursing. Uh, I've uh, amassed quite a little bit of a treasure here in my pouch. It holds quite a bit more than I thought it would and uh, <clears throat> I saw some other somebody else that made this project, and I, I thought I'd uh, do my own notes on it just to kind of give my thoughts and impression. I thought I'd make a can koozie out of it at first, or it could double as a can koozie. But this thing really shrunk up on me um, after I I made it. It's the I, I, there's no way I could fit the can back in here that I used as the mold to do this with as he suggests in his tutorial. Um, some of the thoughts is that I put these vertical cords, the cords that are running this way, actually that's horizontal when I'm holding the pouch that way, the vertical cords this way closer together than he suggested and that's because I made this to uh, hold coins and I, I was afraid that if I spaced them every half inch as he suggested that the coins might slip through the work there and I'd lose my coins and also my half hitching on the bottom isn't uh, it, although it's very functional and it works pretty good I've never done that kind of half hitching before and it doesn't look as neat as his work so that'll require a little bit of um, thought as to how I could improve that and I'm going to make another one and I'm going to do a video tutorial on how to put it together so that uh, anybody else that's interested in will have a little bit more detailed instructions on how to put it together. Another thing that happened was it seemed like the, the, the last two rows at the bottom had a lot of slack in them after the thing was made and I took the slack out and it, now it looks like they're too tight. And if you're going to use this the way I did it and and actually put a drawstring on it and put any kind of um, tension on that string. It seems like it tends to make these loops at the top come loose and it also scrunches the rest of the bag down tighter and the effect is to kind of not you can kind of see how the knots are all scrunched up together and it's not quite as aesthetically pleasing as a uh, a regular bag although it's still completely functional and I really like it and enjoy it so far I've also put a a breakaway lanyard on here this thing will pull apart pretty easily so I bought a bunch of these lanyards that uh, that uh, snap together and break apart so that's kind of a safety thing so that if you get this cut on a piece of machinery or something it wouldn't break your neck this this little breakaway thing will break off pretty easily um, some other thoughts were that um, I used he suggested putting a, a pin in, uh, uh, on the can to put some extra um, tension or to 
so for some slack and uh, to pull the pin out after you got the string all wrapped around the, the bag and I did that and the whole thing fell apart so that didn't work for me and I had to keep the pin in there and, to, and then sew or start wrap do the do the horizontal wrap and when I started doing the vertical um, strands this way I pushed the big I started off with a fat marker and then I'd push a smaller pin through and then a smaller one until I was all the way done with the project and that seemed to work pretty good um, but I got some ideas on how to improve that for the for the video I'm going to make on how to do this um, other than that I'm real real happy with the way it came out and um, it's been a useful little gadget and if I keep uh, cursing as much as I have I'm going to fill it up <laughs> fill it up in no time uh, so, but anyway those were my thoughts on the pouch and uh, give everybody a chance to see a completed one and what uh, what it looks like when you do it uh, another thing I saw somebody else that had made one of these and he, his pouch didn't look all that great compared to mine but mine doesn't look all that great compared to storm drains either um, don't be afraid when you're doing paracord work and not work to to make mistakes and take the whole thing apart and start over again I started over twice before I got a good start on this that I was happy with and I'm not completely happy with the way it turned out although I'm, I'm you know it did turn out to be functional and it's, it's good enough for everyday use and, and I'm, I'm like I said I'm happy with it so um, that's just my thoughts and hope you enjoyed my little instructions <laughs>